Hey, welcome back to another video. My name is Robertini the Source. I make beats, but I also happen to like anime, and I'm back with more of the Hunter Hunter reactions. I know it's been a while, so thank you guys for being patient if you are already subscribed to the channel, and I cannot wait to get into it because this episode was pretty emotional. And stay tuned because I'm going to be dropping episode 136 the following day. So whenever this video drops, 136 will be coming right after but either or if you like this kind of content definitely go hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you know when i drop a video every week and if you want that early access to that hunter hunter and if you want to see the rest of my episode reactions i already finished so i have the entire rest of the series and the next arc completed well you can head over to patreon to go check it all out now, of course, last time that we left off, a lot of craziness, Miram was reborn, and then we found out about the poison situation going on with the bomb, so it was pretty crazy. So I can't wait for you guys to see this one. So without further ado, y'all, let's hop right into it. Wow. That's crazy. He's so powerful. It's nuts. Huh, and I find it interesting that there's these little credit things here. What is going on? <laughs> oh! No intro theme song. Interesting. So that was the intro theme song, quote unquote. Huh, alright. Cool. Either or, this person, X and X this moment. <laughs> Ah, that was interesting to me. さっきも理解した。それを知った上でな、今ヨガ望むのは残された時間をこの時間過ごして。ああ、それだけだ。ああ。That's incredible. So he is going to die. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I can understand her frustration. Obviously, she doesn't know the... Mm. This music. <laughs> In your current state, I am not a god. That is the quote of the century. For real. Wow, because he... <laughs> wow, he complimented her. Wow, because he knows her resolve is so powerful. Wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. No, wow. Um, <laughs> this guy. Aww. Aww. No way. Dang, he's done. That poison rocked him. Yep. Unbelievable. So Natero really... What? Natero really did what he had to do. That's crazy. Wow, so Palm is really low-key that, um... Not not even the MVP, but like, I'm sorry for pausing y'all, of course, but um, I just wanted to say now it, now it really makes sense to me why she um had to do that because obviously she wants to make sure that what the king is saying is true clearly, so that's why she was apologizing to Kila because she could have made a fatal mistake. Oh man, how about that? Wow, Natero actually beat the king at his own game. 
at the end of the day. Natero probably, and here's my guess, maybe they'll explain this later, but Natero probably knew that there was a chance that Mir may have not survived, but he knew that the bomb and the poison would have done it eventually. Wow, that is what you call playing your cards right. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> Of course he knows. So that is in the Yoto, a stone, she goes. Victor, a high book or cockle still kid. Honestly, a cut, Nani got a shoe. Yeah, y'all. <laughs> I'm definitely holding in my tears. If you haven't noticed. <laughs> oh. He won, didn't he? He won, didn't he? あ。最後。この日。この時は伝染する。世の側に長く行けば。この死に。ああ。I'm。逆を洗って。Reverse her reversal. I uh This is nice. <laughs> this is a little different, so I'm just gonna keep this rocking. Um, shout out to um, one of the patrons out there who told me to watch this ending part after. So my assumption is that this arc might be coming to a close. This feels like the conclusion. Ah, oh, man. That's why he's asking that question. He's about to... Oh, shit. Alright. I don't want to see any more of this. Um. Yeah, that's too much. <laughs> um. Ooh. <sighs> um. Wow. Um. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, that was episode one hundred and thirty-six. Um. 
That was a well-written episode. <laughs> so shout out uh, to the directors, the teams, the animation team. I think uh, Madhouse Entertainment did this. Uh, my, my assumption is this arc is pretty much over at this point. I'm going to guess. I don't know if the arc continues. Guys, let me know. Um. Wow. How about that? This entire arc was about dealing with a potential threat to humanity. And this king gets born, who's supposed to be the ultimate against these people. And he runs into Komugi and everything changes. And now look at this ending here. Seeing this exchange between them two. Wow. And what makes it so powerful is the fact that it's not something that you would expect from a character like him. I think that's what makes this so cool. Uh, it was just beautiful to see. The music, everything. The tribute to Natero. I love that because at the end of the day, the human race won because of Natero. Let's say a human race won, quote unquote. Natero. Natero won, man. <laughs> It sucks because you just hate to see him go like that. But he won way beforehand. Um, wow. So to see that was really cool. I just, that was cool. Just seeing that. It was just emotional. Just, it was. Um, I tried so hard to fight them tears. I am not going to lie to you guys. That took all, every ounce of my energy for me to not start like really like getting emotional i was trying um so yeah i was pretty quiet this reaction so if you're watching this on youtube if i cut out a lot um i apologize because <laughs> um i might have to um just because you know the way these reactions work here on youtube i can't unless i'm talking a lot you know i can't just show the episode like this so um, if you're watching on Patreon, thank you for watching with me. So if you guys can let me know if this Chimera Ant arc is over. Or if there's a little bit more to this arc left. But besides that, man. Um, Hunter x Hunter is definitely one of the best animes I've ever seen. 100%. Um, I don't know how much episode is left. I think we're getting close, right? Um, I know the manga's not um, done yet. Um... The anime, I think, is on a, is obviously going to catch up and then it's on a hiatus. But look forward to watching the rest of this. Um, but yeah, Hunter x Hunter is definitely one of the best animes I've ever seen. Hands down. Um, just everything about it. Well written, well put together. Just well crafted. Um, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's just great. You know what I mean? Um... The characters, just everything about this. And then the, the 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 this arc was kind of like the T, I think, really. Um, because this this whole anime was already well written and just already well done before the Khmer Ant arc, and this arc was kind of like the T. Like to me, this arc is kind of like this is the potential of what the show can be. This is what I feel, because when I'm thinking about it right now. Not much progress has been made for Gon finding his father, so there's still a lot more left. So it makes sense. Um, I'm sure there's plenty more to go. And uh, I just hope that we can eventually see the rest of this. I would love to, to, to see the story continue. I would love to see the manga finish so that the anime can finish. Even if, if it's, you know, if it takes years, you know, I would love to see another four or five seasons of this when time comes. So, yeah, great, great character development and the antagonist um what i really enjoyed about marum's character is just the, the him constantly questioning things even when he was you know in the beginning you know what i mean like really trying to understand what his true purpose was but like i said before that that's why it's so amazing to see you know how a human being can affect an, another person can affect you know someone so well and so easily it's truly it's truly great um so shout out because it's really impressive to see that i um it was great i just love the everything about this um right now the only thing i can think of is 
you know, Merum couldn't beat Komugi, and he admitted his, that he couldn't do it. So he was like, screw this. I'm, well, he didn't say screw this, but knowing that he's about to die, he said, let me just take this nap real quick, realizing that this nap was going to be permanent. And he wanted him to hold her hand. That's crazy. Like, hold. he wanted her to hold his hand. That's crazy. And obviously, Komugi was on the verge of death, too. That's why he kept asking those questions. Like, that's just... That's just a beautiful ending to such a antagonist, such a odd way. It, I, I can't put my words together, but it's such a beautiful way to put an end to an antagonist in the story. That's that's what it is. Most antagonists don't have the great endings, you know, but this this character right here, he did it. That That was nice. And what I also liked about this was that it didn't feel forced either. Like this, all of him, the whole concept of him changing, the idea of humanity, the idea of, you know, him caring for humans, really understanding what his purpose is, the importance of the, the game for him. Komugi be obviously having the role that she had, like, none of it felt forced. You know, this entire arc, once again, was really about understanding value. At least this is my perspective, understanding value. The importance of what 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 do you value in life and what are you willing to do to protect what you value and we've seen that in a lot of in a lot of situations that's what this arc was about i think the importance of value right so we've seen that theme throughout the entire arc right even with gone and pito like what do you value the most Pito, same concept. Gone. We knew what Gone valued the most. You know what I mean? You know, Nove and Morel, what did they value the most? Knuckle, what did he value the most, right? And then in their battles. And we and all of these realizations came throughout their battles. And obviously, Yupi and Poof, understanding what their value was. What do they value the most? What is their value? You know what I mean? So I, th I think that's what this was about. Just the importance of value. And once you can find that value then that's going to determine how you make your next move and act upon whatever you decide to act upon. And Miram, to, to, to put the icing on the cake or put the cherry on the top, right? Miram's value was already established, but once it was reestablished, there was no point in fighting anymore. He found what he wanted. And I think that was just a beautiful end to an antagonist. He's definitely also... One of the best anime antagonists I have um, I've ever seen. That's a hundred percent. I'll be real on that. I think he was just so complex. The development of him was incredible. Really, really good. Really, really good. A lot of people can have a lot of different opinions about what should have happened to him, but to me, this is probably the more happier endings for a character who has did so much bad. So I'm going to play devil's advocate and I can also say I can understand if some people may be a little bit frustrated with maybe how this may have turned out for him just given the fact of how things were going, you know, at the end of the day, because you got to pay homage that that's what to me, that's what makes a great, a great story, something that's well written. It's not supposed to, it's not supposed to follow the trope. It's just a, like... It could have ended in different ways, right? You know what I mean? And it would have been fine. Like, it would have probably been very well. But, like, the way the fact that it ended like this, or in the sense that Miram passed away like this, like, I don't have any problem with it at all. But I can understand if some people are like, damn, that's, that's how you're really going to die after all this? I can understand that part, too. So, you know, everybody's going to have their own opinions about the way it should have gone. But what I like about these kinds of stories is that it's left for open discussion. You know what I mean? That's what makes great writing. You know, if I'm a writer, Togashi, Echiro Oda for One Piece, all you know, the way that they write their stories, it's they're meant for people to and put their own theories on what they believe should be right or true or wrong and all of that. You know what I mean? It's not always supposed to be just this direct, like, yes, the good guy's supposed to win, or yes, the bad guy is bad and he's always bad. You know, it's okay to put these little twists. It's okay to create these characters that throw you off. You know what I mean? I think that's what makes a really well-written story. 
And whether you agree with what happened or not isn't the point. You know, if you disagree with what happens, it's that doesn't still take away from how well written the story is, right? And that's to me is what you want. You know, and I'm even going to go crazy. I'm going to go kind of off topic. For those of you guys who have played the second Last of Us game, that's kind of the same thing. I think it's a well-written story, even though it has created a lot of polarizing things throughout that community, which I don't want to get too much into video games. But the point is, like, that's just another example. Like, you write a story and it's going to divide people. That's just how it goes sometimes. I'm not saying it happens in this community, because, uh, not community, but I'm not saying it happens here with Hunter x Hunter you know specifically but i can definitely see people also not liking the way that this has ended so i'm just saying i'm just putting that out there just just you know for discussion purposes but uh and i keep saying ending as if the show ended but y'all get the point what i'm saying either or um this was great so thank you guys for tuning in so much greatly appreciate it this was such a fun journey and uh i'm going to assume like i said the chimera ant arc is probably almost done so definitely getting close to the um close to the end here so um yeah without further ado <laughs> my cat is uh crying in the background i don't know if you guys heard him meow a little bit but i've been talking a lot so let me let me get out so without further ado y'all thank you for tuning in and for the few of you who have been here on patreon um thank you guys so much for watching you guys have been so awesome you know i know there's a lot of more reactors remember i make beats so like there's a lot of people who reactors who may do more episodes a week or who do all these different things so the fact that i'm able to actually watch anime and do reactions and also kind of work on my music production in the background has been such a fun blessing and i want to continue and i'm definitely looking forward to showing you guys more music content i've been actually doing some music stuff but i'm kind of been putting it as a separate thing not showing you guys too much on patreon i want to kind of focus just on the anime reaction making sure i knock those schedules out but i definitely have plans to give you guys more music content too um so i'm very very looking forward to showing you more i hope you guys continue to stick with me for all these anime reaction stuff we're gonna finish hunter hunter if you guys have never seen One Piece, um, you know, or if you've seen One Piece, want to watch those, definitely go check that out, man. Because to be honest with you, my top two favorite animes right now is Hunter x Hunter and One Piece, respectively, one and two. Um, I'm not going to give order because I want to finish where Hunter x Hunter has stopped. Um, one Piece, we know it's still ongoing. Um, both animes do things very well. Um, obviously, they're not perfect. Both animes are not perfect. But for me personally, these are my top two. Whether people have their own opinions, that's fine. But definitely, I'm so glad I'm doing reactions for both. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And until the next set of episodes, I will talk to y'all. You already know, it's Robertini, The Source. And stay tuned for more Hunter Hunter content. More anime content coming. Thank you. And this is from the source, of course.